Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Central Kentucky Living. So don't be shy, don't be nervous. A lot of people have been talking about this topic now for quite some time, since the market took a huge change in 2020, 2021, and into 2022. That's a lot of 20s. But in 23, <laughs> we are still learning what the effects of all of that madness was and where rates are now and you know, answering questions every day on what we see happening and are people still buying and selling. There is some positive news to it all and it's still happening, so let's talk about it. So obviously if you have to move, you probably have to make these decisions and you know, regardless of what they may look like, you know, financially, um, you have to make a move and it's gotta happen. And, and there's still some things to be nervous about that. But if you've never bought a home or maybe you haven't bought a home in a while and you wanna upgrade or downsize and you're wondering, you know, is this really a good time? What's happening in the markets? What's going on in 2023? Well, these just might be some strategies or tips that might, you know, help you overcome those um, anxious thoughts and apprehensive feelings because it, it's not all bad. So number one is get informed. The more you know about the home buying process and the current state of the real estate market, the better you're going to feel about making a confident decision. Buying a home isn't something that all of us do every year. So you might forget like what are the steps and maybe that's causing you to feel a little apprehensive about it all. Like I don't even know what the buying process is anymore. Well, we actually have a video that goes through um, the steps of the process from like looking for a home all the way to writing your offer and all the way through closing. So I will put the link in the description to that video it could be helpful in, you know, kind of reminding you the steps of the home buying process, which can ease some of the fears. If you're working with a good agent, they should be creating some expectations and, you know, preparedness for you so you know what to expect and what's coming next. So, and when you have those things, you obviously feel more confident about what you're doing. Number two is make a budget, create a budget, stick to your budget. <laughs> You've got to know, you know, what your income is and what your expenses are and what your future financial goals are. So you have room for savings or investing, but knowing that and keeping track of those things, just kind of keeping them on paper in front of you, um, will help you understand, you know, what you can realistically afford. Now, a, a lot of us, uh, calculate what we can afford based on what is the monthly payment going to be and everyone does that and that's fine especially when you're financing you know big things like a car or an RV or a boat or a fun ATV or obviously our homes and our mortgages we need to know what's the monthly payment and knowing those things gives you a sense of control of your finances which brings you more peace and less stress so having a budget and knowing what you can afford realistically eliminates a lot of the stress and anxiety. We do have another video that I'm going to point you to, and that is a recent video I did on interest rates currently and what your payment would be in specific home price ranges, like 200 to 300 or what a, what a $500,000 house um, payment would look like at a 6% interest rate. Cause that's kind of where we're hanging recently. Number three is going to be working with a reputable real estate agent. I mean, it sounds like, oh, okay, whatever. But I mean, honestly, if you haven't done this in a while and you're a buyer, you really should consider reaching out to a reputable real estate agent. In which case, I mean, it's going to be someone that you feel like you know, like, and trust, whether that's through a referral from a friend or, you know, someone that you've seen um, on camera or videos, or you've seen a track record of their previous um, past client success. So you want to go with someone who doesn't necessarily have to be the top, you know, agent in the entire state. Um, you can go with someone who has a track record of success in sales and, and positive reviews. It's just as simple as that. But don't be afraid to contact an agent because a big question that we get a lot with either first time home buyers or a buyer who hasn't purchased in a while is, you know, kind of an apprehensive feel that they feel like they can save money if they don't use an agent. But the truth to that is an agent's commission is paid out of the seller's proceeds. So you're actually not 
it's really not costing you anything to work with a professional to help you through this process. Working with someone who can point you to local lenders, you know, reputable title companies, reputable general contractors, help you get through the process from A to B is not a bad idea at all. A positive thing that you should take into consideration is taking your time and not rushing the decision. You can actually do that in 2023. Now, in certain cases, <laughs> because we live in an area in this central Kentucky area where things are still moving and can move very quickly. And real estate is so unpredictable that you could be looking at a house that's been on the market for 45 days and you're ready to now see it. And suddenly you show up for your showing and your agent says, this weekend, the, eight, the listing agent is saying there's four offers on the table. And that has happened. Like, you just don't know. <laughs> One day there could be no activity, and when spring breaks over and everyone's ready to buy a house, there's seven buyers lined up at the door. <laughs> there can be a sense of urgency, but you just kind of have to know yourself, know what you want, have your ducks in a row, which your agent will help you with. And then all of those things add up to a whole lot of confidence when you have to make a quick decision like that. And then you feel confident about it and you feel ready. But there are times in today's market now where it's not like it was in 2020, where day one you had to have a full price offer plus 50,000 over appraisal you know in hand at the door your 10th in line and it had to be submitted by noon <laughs> those days are not those days are gone for now but but now in 2023 you have a little bit of breathing time it depends on the property of course but we even have been able to set up showings days down the road like hi Val and Jarrett I'd like to set up a showing on Saturday. It's only Tuesday. Well, we talk to the listing agent and make sure we get a feel for what kind of activity is going on. And it's still possible that we can set up a showing a couple days down the road, depending of course. But my point is that you can breathe a little bit in this market. There's room to negotiate sometimes, it depends on the property again, but there's room to not have to make such a hasty decision when you feel unprepared and like, you just have to throw your money all at a seller and, and just hold your breath and jump. Not really like that right now, so that's a positive. I'm just gonna touch on taking your time for one more second because this is important. And we work with buyers all the time in kind of coaching you along how you're feeling through this process. Jared and I are agents who we will not rush you into anything. You have to know that you're confident in your purchase and you love what you're buying. So if there's any hesitation, your agent should not be pushing you into, you know, a hasty decision. We want you to feel ready and confident and happy and excited because this can be an exciting process. Which leads me to our tip number five, which is focusing on the positives. Because buying a home can be a rewarding experience. Yes, it's emotional and sometimes stressful because your finances are involved, but it can be very rewarding. And owning your own home, pride of ownership, you know, self-accomplishment, all of that stuff is really important. So it's important to us that you feel like you're getting through all of these steps of this emotional process in a positive way. So because we're talking about overcoming anxiety and seeing the positives of buying a home in this current market 2023, here are a few ways we can look at those positives. So one of those positives could be the ability to lock in a higher interest rate. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but some buyers actually see it as a positive when you get to lock in your rate because it does create a sense of stability. That rate's not going to change. You're locked in and you know your house payment's going to remain the same through the life of the loan if it's a fixed mortgage. That can bring some ease. When interest rates are high, it can lead to lower home prices. So this can be a positive. When interest rates are high, fewer people can afford to buy a home or buy the home they want or buy the home that they wanted in 2020. <laughs> because of the lower demand, you could be getting the house you love at a lower price. There can be some negotiating room with certain properties. So in relation to possibly getting a home at a lower price, 
higher rates could mean a higher return. When interest rates rise, the return on other investments like stocks and bonds may become less attractive, which might make real estate options look more appealing to investors. When you're considering buying a home when rates are a little higher, it doesn't all have to be scary. If you just talk to a professional and stay within your budget and your means, you're going to be able to buy a house you can afford and a house you're gonna love. Hope that video was helpful. <laughs> Feel free to like and subscribe or contact us. Our information's in the link below. We hope you have a good day and we'll see you again in a week or two.